uh, to everyone. So in this session, we'll look into the circuit called ADER. So ADER circuit is an example of combinational logic circuit. So in the slide, it says, digital computer perform various arithmetic operation. The most basic operation is addition of two binary digit. Now, if you look into this four possible elementary operation, so it has different output. So when you add zero plus zero, you have zero, zero plus one, you have one, one plus zero, you have one, and at the last, one plus one, you have two digit. This first operation give only single digit. However, at four cases, when you add one plus one, you have two digit. Now in the slide, it says, the highest significant bit of this result is called carry, and the lowest significant bit is known as sum. So if you have two bit, that means one bit is carry and one bit is sum. Now, for example, if you take this one, zero plus zero, you have answer is zero, which means your carry is zero, and sum is zero. So the type of logic circuit which perform this operation, when we say this operation, this type of operation, so that type of circuit is known as half adder. Now similarly, we have definition of full adder, the circuit which perform addition of three bit, two significant bits and a previous carry is called a full adder. So it, it clearly shows this, Half adder is two bit and full adder is three bit. So we are going to look into individual, individually half adder and full adder. So here we, you have two table. This is logic diagram of half adder and block schematic of half adder. So we will look into how we reach at logic diagram of half adder. So therefore, this two table is important. So in the slide, it says, the half adder operation needs two binary input. So it has two binary input, which is called urgent and eight, eight end bits. So here it is represented by A and B. And it has two output, sum and carry. So you have carry and sum. Now with the help of KMAP, you will find out Boolean expression for carry and sum. So this one is for carry. Using KMAP, we try to find the Boolean expression. And this is for sum. Again, with the help of KMAP, we try to find out the Boolean expression. Now, in case of carry, the Boolean expression we found, found, found out is AB, which means N gate. Similarly, for sum, the Boolean expression, as per the Boolean expression, the gate that we are going to use is exclusive all. Now we know we have two input, so we can draw the logic diagram of half adder. So you have exclusive or and end gate, and you have from the exclusive or you have output sum, and from the end gate you have carry. Now if you compare this logic diagram with this two table, so if you look closely in carry output, so this one is actually the two table of half uh, two table of n gate. Similarly, in the sum, the output of sum, if you look closely, so this will be the two table of exclusive or gate. Now this one is the block schematic of half adder, where you have two input a, b, and two output carry and sum. So this is how we construct logic diagram of half adder using KMIP for carry and sum. I hope you are clear with this logic diagram, how you got the logic diagram. Now let's see the full adder. Now you know that full adder is three bit, where you have two input A and B and one previous carry and you have only two output, that is C out and sum. And this one is two table for full adder. Full adder is combinational 
circuit that performs the arithmetic sum of three input bit. It has three input A, B, and C in. C in is the previous carry. It also has two output, sum and C out. That is output carry. So this one is block schematic diagram for full header. Now, again, with the help of KMAP, you will find out the Boolean expression for C out, Boolean expression of sum. So here, here is the Boolean expression for C out with the help of KMIF. And this one is Boolean expression of C sum with the help of KMIF. Now, after simplification of C out and sum, we reach the final logic diagram of full header. This is the final logic diagram of full header. So you can do the simplification between C out and sum and try to analyze this circuit. So in next session, we will study half subtector and full subtector. If you have any doubt, please feel free to contact me at any time through email and also through our official Facebook page group or Facebook messenger group.